Hey y'all, what's up? Terry here, Brainy Nerd Tutor, and we've got another fun example. It's fun because it's super easy. It comes up all the time in physical chemistry. I know how to do it, and I'm going to teach you to it, and I hope you like it as much as I do. <laughs> uh, you'll see the outcome. Um, we have this, this one mole of gas, ideal gas, undergoes an expansion, blah, 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 from V1 to V final. Uh, we want to calculate all the change in entropies uh, if the process occurred via an adiabatic reversible expansion. This is part C. If you've seen my previous two videos, there's a part A, which is isothermal reversible expansion. Part B is a irreversible uh, expansion against zero pressure. And here we have adiabatic reversible expansion. Well, if it's adiabatic, that means the heat transfer is zero. Uh, that's it. <laughs> and uh, the change in entropy, based on our thermodynamic definition of entropy, this is the integrated form. This is of the system because there's no subscripts, equals energy transferred is heat. So this is zero. So the change in entropy is zero, I guess, joules per Kelvin. There's no heat transfer to the to or from the system. That means it's not, there's no heat transfer with the surroundings as well. So the change in entropy of the surroundings has to be zero because this Q is zero. And the change in entropy total is the change in entropy of the system plus the change in entropy of the surroundings. All of those are zero. So the total change in entropy is zero as well. There we go. Everything's zero. Adiabatic reversible expansion. Hey, if you like it, just uh, slap a like <laughs> or put a like or something like that. I'll, I'll make more videos. Cheers.